Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Purple Slushy here bringing you another build video. Today I got a crazy ass build to bring you guys. I'm calling this build the Zeus build. I don't know why this outfit makes me feel like Zeus when I kill a ton of people at the same time. I feel like I have some kind of god power. I don't know, it's insane. So getting into the build, right off the bat, I'll show you guys my stats. So this is without a resource buff. I'm sitting at 2900 spell damage, 1800 recovery, almost 37k max magicka, 20k health, 13k stam. When I get a resource buff, I'm at like 33, 3400 spell damage. It's actually really nice. Um, so getting into the gear that I'm wearing. I'm wearing 5 piece Vicious Death. This set is insane right now. Like, honestly, you can go into like a, a group of like 10 people and wipe all of them by yourself. This set is so broken and it does so much damage. It's just a great set. So I got the Inferno Staff of Vicious Death sharpened. Really rare. I was really lucky to actually get this. It has an unresistible damage enchant on it. I do want to switch it to disease damage. I just uh, haven't gotten that done yet. For my resto staff, I'm still rocking with the uh, Maelstrom resto. I'm probably going to use the Vicious resto when I get it. Just so when I'm on my back bar, my Vicious will still proc. So I got one piece Kina on to get spell damage. To get the recovery that I'm getting, I'm running two piece Archmage in this build. It actually does fit into the build. So I'm using the hands of Archmage and the shoulders. One's reinforced, one's in pen. I, I didn't get the best traits on all my gear because... All the gear um, that I'm wearing right now is all gear that you get randomly and you don't get to pick the trait. So it's kind of crappy. Um, the chest I got is in pen. That's vicious death. I got I got Divine's legs, which is nice. And the infused shoes are okay. Um, my Melakeen is Divine's, which is nice. And then I got three-piece willpower. I got three Kuda enchants on them. They're all arcane, all spell damage. So it hits, So it's going to hit really hard having all that spell damage. And honestly, I was surprised that I was able to have, like, I'm able to have 1600 uh, recovery. It's actually really, really good. I guess it goes up to 1800 when I take a drink. Yeah, when I take a drink. But it's like 2900 spell damage, almost 3k. Um, it depends what server we're in, because I don't think we're in a buff server right now. Let me see. Yeah, we're not in a buff server, so we don't have the uh, offensive scroll. If I did have the offensive scroll, um, I'd be at 3k spell damage, because that's what I was at yesterday with the offensive scroll with this build. So, getting into the abilities I'm using on my bar. Force Pulse, it's like a must-have on a Sork, especially Destro. Flame Reach, Flame Reach, Flame Reach is really, really good this patch. The stun used to never work. The knockback used to never work on people wearing shields. It does, in fact, now work on people wearing shields. And the dot's really good since um, uh, you can put some points in the Tharmaturge for dot damage. So that's pretty good. Crystal Frags, as always. Valicious Curse. Hardened Ward. I do put my Hardened Ward on my front bar. I feel like it's a little bit easier to uh, like 1vx and also just to stay alive. Um, when you're by yourself or even like anything that you're doing just anytime you have a shield on your front bar you can just clap your hands one time and then just keep putting on dps clap your hands keep putting on dps it's really really op um shooting star i'm using shooting star because every time you hit uh an enemy uh grants you 12 ultimate for each enemy hit which is really nice back bar degeneration i'm using degeneration because i like to heal off my crits kind of like power surge also i use uh, the reason why I'm not using Power Surge is because I use um, Degeneration with Might of the Guild to make my Meteors stronger and to sometimes make my Curse stronger. Also, my Frags. I use Healing Ward, Streak, Proxy Debt, Harness Magicka, and Overload. On my Overload bar, I got Dark Conversion. Dark Conversion is actually a really nice ability. I wonder if I can show you i don't know if i can make my magic go down at all i'll try to make my magic go down all right so what this skill does it takes your stamina and it converts it into magicka and it takes like 2000 i think it takes 1800 stam or something but it gives you like 2000 or 4000 health almost 3k magicka really nice really op skill especially if you if you have low recovery boundless storm mines shuffle 
I know shuffle you're like well, your magic character why are you using shuffle shuffle's still good you still get dodge chance that dodge chance is really really nice even on a sword hardened ward again and then overload so that goes over my abilities my character sheet um, going into my champion points so I got 72 into the magician 95 into arcanist none into tumbling this is only because I was doing maelstrom if, if I were you guys, I would maybe take, I don't know, like 10 or 15 out of Magician and then put them into Tumbling. 35 into Elfborn, 73 into Elemental Expert, 59 into Tharmaturge. You could make uh, Elemental Expert and Tharmaturge a little more even. I might do that, but right now, from what I could see from the damage I was doing to people, it's it's set up pretty decently. I mean, it, it might be able to get a little bit better than what it is right now, but for what it is right now, it's not bad. Um, 34 into Hardy, 33 into Elemental Defender. I'm just keeping these even because I run into Stam and Magicka people all the time. And then I still got 100 into Bastion. Super OP. Bastion's really OP. So that basically goes over the uh, Zeus Sork build. Um, actually, this build, I'm, I, you can actually use it on a Magicka Nightblade. I'm going to make a Magicka Nightblade build um, later on. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, leave some comments on what you guys think I should come out with next. What kind of videos if you guys want to see some montages. Any ideas that will just make the uh, channel better. Thank you guys for watching and see ya.